guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis and today I'm kind of excited because guess what I have here in my hands? I have a King Kong version of a Pico BLX F3 micro flight controller. This is 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. Quite a bit smaller than our traditional flight controllers. Those are 30 millimeters and usually you see these big guys on five inch racer quads. Uh, but this little one is mainly for micros and you've seen a lot of those on my channel. So I wanted to show you guys this mainly because it's only $16 versus $38, the original Furious FPV Pico BLX is uh, more than twice the amount of this one. Now I'm going to go ahead and solder this up to a quad that I have sitting over to my right and uh, begin flying this flight controller, but it's definitely an economically priced Pico BLX. Uh, one of the big favorites out there in the micro community right now is, is the Pico BLX. So I'm pretty excited. It also supports SBUS, PPM, and DSM port is on here for you Spectrum guys right there. So you're not left out in the cold. And right in the middle, we have that F3 chip right here. We have a boot button included, which is great because you don't have solder tabs on here to solder up and bridge. Like on some of the other flight controllers, you just push this button and reflash beta flight back on here uh, from the USB port. Pretty cool. Now the motor layout is very simple. It's just motor one right here, motor two, motor three, and motor four, exactly like it's set up in beta flight. And it is labeled on here so if you look closely you can see a one there and there's two up here three on that one and the, the round terminals right there those are for your ESC signal wires coming in and then you have your positive negative tabs here running off your ESCs uh, up to this board now the cool thing about this is this is also a PDB flight controller one so you don't have to have another PDB below this you can just run your ESCs straight to this little guy and that just cleans up a lot of the build and makes the stack shorter as well, which I like a lot. Now over here on this side, let's flip it over and look at it from the bottom. Just make your screen big so you can see this. Um, we have LED strip support right up at the very top. TX1, we have TX, TX2 here. We have RX1, RX2, we have RC right there. And below that we have two options for five volt out. Um, if you need to run five volt, anywhere uh, on your quad you can do that it's pretty nice you have positive here and negative there and down at the very bottom you have two terminals for your battery uh, you'll have positive here it's going to be this round one and the square version right here is going to be your negative so i usually solder mine up coming out from the bottom right here it just keeps it a little bit cleaner uh, and over to my left there we have a vtx hookup right there for positive and negative running out to your all-in-one camera uh, VTX setup. So pretty simple board. It's a really simple layout. Um, and also if you want to add a buzzer right here. So positive and negative right there. And that's just about it for this little King Kong Pico BLX. It's uh, pretty sweet and it only weighs 2.5 grams. Uh, so it's not going to add a lot of weight to your quad and they actually perform pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with these Pico BLX is um, in my more than six months worth of building and flying micros. I would uh, highly suggest checking one of these out for 16 bucks, not a bad deal. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching the show until today, you guys. I had a good time showing you this one. This is the King Kong Pico BLX. You can check it out in the link below and uh, go over the specs a little further for yourself and see if you think this is good for your micro quad. Pretty simple. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you guys on the next one.